Hey there, it's Onfire here, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, since this game doesn't have any alternate editions, I don't have to worry about, you know, anything like that. I mean, I guess they could have did, uh, if they wanted to have two different editions, they could have did Pokemon Legends Palkia and Pokemon Legends Dialga. But so far, the story hasn't really fit that. But, uh... Here we are to meet the commander. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Mm. So you are Zenfire. Yes, sir! <clears throat> I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from out the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat! Like a Pokemon battle? Oh, wait. You're having. Charge at him. Yeah! I've been yeeted. Hmm. You've got bigger. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might even see your arrival as a part in that disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Zampar. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Sir, yes, sir. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Form well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to, towards that goal of yours as well, to seek out every last Pokemon. You will need this. It's a recipe on how to craft Pokeballs. You need one apricot and one tumble stone. I have an apricot. Hey, I got one apricot. I'm good. And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Cash money, stunning bonus. Great. You are an expert at crafting yourself. Uh, teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me, Prattlon. Let's go to the craft work so you can try it yourself. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. I'm the local clothing. The professor asked that I ready a chain of clothes for you, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Got an everyday kimono and everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the uh, village's humble shops.
Hey, hey, this way to the crap works. I'm going this way. I'm gonna start over here. A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Shaman fancy kimono, shaman fancy bottoms. What a precious gift. Please take care of such fine attire. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm down. So what can you buy? Am I not allowed to change, change the thing at the top? Goku and Gohan. And you can wipe glasses. Okay. Yeah, I'm done for now. <laughs> Spend 500 of my starting money to uh, get a haircut. Why not? Okay, you're the general store. Yeah, you're the general store. I just, yeah, it, it, it looks like it was just explaining the basics of crafting. I mean, I, I, I'll just keep up to the 20 balls. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up toe workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. 
with the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to cast them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you go. You have saved the Pokedex. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Leviton continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Research task for Cyndaquils. Okay, so you can catch multiple of them apparently because it does say up to five. Number of times you've seen it use Ember, Quick Attack, Flame Wall, Strong Style Move, Agile Style Moves, and number of times it's evolved. Habitat's unknown. So I'm guessing you'll be able to catch all the starters. But hey, I'm making progress on that Quick Attack. Research, whatever. Okay. It's like, can't be found in the city of Villains. I do. Catch 25, catch 7 heavy species, defeat 15, and different forms, you caught 2. Catch 20 without being spotted, catch 25, defeat 15, and get 2 different forms, and evolve 3. Number caught, 25, defeated. 15, defeated with ground type moves, 10. Seen it do quick attack tw 25 times. Seen it use fight 25 times. Number of different forms, you've obtained two and evolved three of them. Okay. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of. So this is going to be a lot of catching. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'll be all too ex happy to explain more about the research task I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Feldling Camps whenever you're ready, my good Zampire. Hey, excuse me. Couldn't help but over here. If you're going to Feldling Camp, uh, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm sending guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask of you will have a request icon on display to them. If you fill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Okay, it, look, it looks like there's a few requests sitting around, so let's go pick them up. Hey, so uh, there's this Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? I'm just going to say yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with the Professor, uh, Professor Leventon, and uh, he uh, told me uh, that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, uh, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said this phenomenon was called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option while viewing your Pokemon in your satchel. And so I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the survey core, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it, I promise. If you get me a Wurmple, if you can. Now that's, that seems simple enough. There's one request way down there, so I'm going to go get that because it's, the, it's out of the way. Old apricot. Oh, hitting a Pokemon with one may stunning it, creating an opening for you to act. Okay. A big fusel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? 
I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different sized Pokemon uh, lined up side by side. If they really are a few bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have for comparison's sake. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I'll bet you'll see, you see where I'm going with this. Uh, if you catch a Buzel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth a while. Big Buzel, little Buzel. Okay, so we got... So we... Wormpole, catch a big Buzel. Okay, so that's how we get to... Okay, yeah, that's how we do stuff. Uh, how big is your Buzel, anyways? Can you tell me that? Ah, didn't tell me. So whichever the first one I catch is, I'll try to get one that's bigger than that. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must uh, have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book you're working on, right? And on the way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. But when I see Starly, I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one. Please, let me see Starly's entry in the Pokedex the moment you've completed it. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I say it's not going to be too hard, but it's going to be a lot of catching. Those ears. No, I don't recall. I know Shinx has ears with odd markings on the inside, but what were they? No use. Can't remember. Does it keep me up all night? Hey, aren't you with the here? If you catch a Shinx, uh, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please. I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's dropped me up the wall. Yeah, I got a Shinx. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. Yeah. That's it. The ears have a yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat, only the throat, my brain, and the bones of thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Got some extra potions. Nice. Oh, item storage. I'm going to assume that they're important at some point, so I'm going to store this stuff in here. I'm just going to keep the potion and the Pokeball with me. Back out to the Obsidian Pill Lands. <laughs> right -o. Let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of yours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference at any time. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon uh, species has a different number and a variety of research tasks. Press down to open your Pokedex and then uh, check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. Then when you're focused on a wild Pokemon using the ZL button, you can instantly check the research task for that Pokemon by pressing down to open up the Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. You must catch and battle a diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share with you. While Pokemon may attack you at any time, when they do, dodge, your, uh, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge. 
Just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. Yee! See? That's how you dodge. Time to dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. That's the key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When the Shinx caught me with Thunder Shock, I might have been done for if the security part corpse hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. I don't know, like the game actually lets you fall off cliffs. Is there fall mechanic fall damage? Oof. Oof. Yep, there's fall damage. But it looks like the health regen is pretty quick, so that's good. Get ready for some survey corp windows. With a focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for that Pokemon. <laughs> did you re uh, did you see the research uh, task for Bidoof include one about how many Pokemon you fought? That's right. Catching just one won't do. You've got to catch two, then four, then more and more. Doom! And when it's time to battle a Pokemon... Remember, uh, the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. Okay. So, do, do. Investigated the Bidoof that, bo that bothered the village. Uh, okay. But again, catch a bunch of them. Catch heavies. Defeat them and different forms. Oh, what? No, that animation was a little bit different. Was that like the trick capture or something? Turn around for me. Can I do two at the same time? Apparently, you can be catching multiple. Listen here, you little fuck. Did the guy, did the guard up there say something about, uh, changing your Pokemon? Yee! I think the guard said something about changing Pokemon. I want to see my Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Two, three, two. Oh, I caught two different forms. I wonder if it means male and female then. Okay.
Okay, so now I'm trying to sneak up on him. Little heat, little hoop. Okay, so you can catch him if you sneak up on him. Nice. Oh, that change is much higher level than not mine was. Uh, I'll, I'll keep raising the one that I'm working on. Okay, it said you hit strange rocks, so... Shanks around. Like, where'd friend go? We're doing pretty well. That's good. Oh, an Eevee! An Eevee! I didn't know you could get Eevee so early. Tattoo, dang. They're giving a variety to begin with. may have been a good idea to get one of the other starters since I already got a fire. So far, the mechanics are really fluid, like switching between. I think they spotted me. I uh, still let me catch it, so.
Maybe I should have just made all the balls I could at once. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Oh, there we are. I was, I was thinking, it's like, I don't think I went that far. Three. So attack fifty-eight, defense thirty-four, special attack forty-four, thirty-eight, thirty-five. Special defense is the same all around. Uh, that's tough, but I think Shink's move set is more physical. EB, you coming with me? Wormple, you are also coming with me. But if I honestly. over here and I'll just grab it all. There, 36 pokeballs. Laying on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus uh, on a Pokemon to check the research chest. For Hold Zia, press down, and try uh, checking your stacks on the task on the Starling X. I'll go wait ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. Two Starlies. I get close enough. So. Yeah, catch 20 of them without uh, being spotted. Catch 25 of them, defeated 15. Oh, I did not mean to start a battle.
Once uh, the game actually wants me to go that way, let's make it a little bit more hard to find out. Around here, you can uh, find a Pokemon called Buzel. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means if you try to hit it with its uh, moves, uh, just like Shinx, uh, you'll need to battle it to catch it. Or if it, if it hits you with its move. If you take too much damage within a short time period, you'll be da in danger of battle acting out. You can tell you're in danger when the edge of the screens turn red. The damage goes away over time, but you won't be able to recover while you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edge of the screens have turned red, you will be overwhelmed and blacked out. And speaking of which, your research uh, task for Buzel includes seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see that move in battle for it to count towards the test, so battling is extra key here. I'm going ahead. Uh, come catch up once you've checked off some of Buzel's tasks. Level 3 is keeping up damage wise to a level 8. It's kind of crazy. Apparently, me using a move does count towards... Oh, is that another Eevee? What's that around over there? Oh, more Wumpa?
Switch back over to Pokeball so I don't accidentally attack something I'm trying to catch. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Nice. Crafting on the fly. A kit that contains everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use materials you have in your uh, satchel. So, key items, pocket, and the satchel, I guess. And here's a recipe for crafting potions, too. Armed area and a metal leak. I've been collecting some of those, so that's cool. With the crafting kit, you can craft anywhere you're using materials you have in your satchel. So long as you have an apricot and tombstone, you can make a pokeball anytime. With an orange berry and medical leak, you can whip up a potion, so heal your Pokemon up whenever they need healing. Research going alright? You can see if you've uh, got tasks ready to turn in uh, on the Pokemon cover. Task with unreported data. 32. Once you got uh, some tasks good and done, you can uh, check in with the Professor Leventon. See you soon. Okay. So the po Professor's way up here. Wait, can I fast travel? Oh, you can fast travel. That's great. Oh, look, another pony tail. Don't know what you are, but I got you too. I said, whatever you are, I'm catching you. Gathering. Uh, okay. You look angry. But you seem to be guarding an item, which means I must have it. Forty Pokemon. Let's get. It had an X. That means it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> I got away. So do not recommend.
Oh, 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 whoa, wait. Oh, I died. Okay, so you can't swim. That's good to know. Ambush tactics. Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I have been running a bit long. But, uh... Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.